Every once in a while, a revolutionary product comes along that changes everything. Ten years ago, Apple unveiled the original iPhone, and in doing so, forever changed the way the world works. Today, smartphones are necessary, they're ubiquitous, and they're desirable. This year, we reviewed many of these much-desired phones, but perhaps the most coveted of them all is this one. Hi, I'm Michael Josh, and you're watching Gadget Match. Almost two months ago, Apple teased the iPhone X, and that phone is finally coming on November 3rd to the lucky few who were able to pre-order it. But we got our hands on one early. This is our iPhone X unboxing and hands-on. Before we begin, we have a lot of iPhone videos coming up, so if you like iPhone videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button, and while you're at, turn on notifications. All right, this is the iPhone 10. Well, at least there's one inside the box. If you saw our iPhone 8 unboxing, contents of the iPhone 10 box are arranged similarly. First up, a packet that says, designed in California. And inside, there are product guides and stickers. Next up, the star of the show, we have the silver iPhone 10. But let's check out the rest of the contents first. Wired headphones, and on the flip side, a lightning to headphone jack adopter a USB to lightning cable, and a power brick. While we're talking about charging, it's worth pointing out that the iPhone X supports fast charging, but you'll need to buy accessories separately. This, a 29 watt adopter, and this, a USB to lightning cable. We got those here, and we'll quickly unbox them. Here's the 29 watt adopter. And here's the cable that goes with it. So, this is the iPhone X. Unlike all other iPhones released in the last three to four years, this one looks different. Its defining feature is that up front, it's all display except for this cutout up top. The screen is 5.8 inches, but the phone is much smaller than the iPhone 8 Plus, even if it has a smaller 5.5 inch display. The iPhone X is the first iPhone with an OLED display, and right off the bat, you'll notice that colors are richer. I won't get into it much right now, but it's worth noting that the iPhone X supports Dolby Vision and HDR10. What this really means is that if you really like high quality streaming content like those from Netflix, then this is really good news. This is probably as edge to edge as one can get on a smartphone. To achieve that, Apple's gotten rid of the iconic circular home button that's also acted as a fingerprint sensor. Replacing that is a feature called Face ID. And the technology behind it is what Apple calls a true depth system, all of which are located up here where the notch is. If you turn the phone around, you'll notice that it's got a glass back and the dual cameras back here are arranged vertically. The frame around the iPhone X is rounded and made of stainless steel, which is tougher than aluminum. Apple says it's also made of the most durable glass ever, but glass still breaks, so it's always worth getting a case. Button and port placements are like this, side button and single nano SIM card tray on the right, mute switch and volume buttons on the left, down below, microphone, a lightning port, and speaker grill. The earpiece up front also serves as a second speaker, so you get stereo speakers firing in forward and downward directions. It should be pretty obvious, but I guess it's worth pointing out to you just in case you decide to ask me in the comment section. No, the iPhone X does not have a headphone jack. No, Apple hasn't made that transition to USB-C just yet, or I don't know if it's ever going to happen, but the good news is it does ship with a pair of lightning headphones. While the iPhone 10 runs iOS 11, unique to this phone are new gesture-based navigation controls. From any app, swipe up from the bottom of the phone to go home, because there is no home button. Swipe up and pause to bring up the multitasking window. And to close open apps, press and hold to bring up the X's. Swipe down from the right side of the notch to bring up the control center. And swipe down from the left side to bring up the lock screen slash notification panel. And swipe down from anywhere else on the screen to bring up the search menu. At this point, I think it's necessary to talk about the True Depth system, probably one of the most important pieces of technology on the iPhone X. And for that, we're going to need to pull up Apple's video to best explain how this works. This is what the system looks like, and here are the most important parts. 
flood illuminator, IR camera, dot projector. The flood illuminator detects your face, the IR camera takes an image, and the dot projector projects tens of thousands of invisible IR dots to map out your face. I'm oversimplifying it, but that enables the iPhone X's security feature called Face ID. Let's set it up. To add a face, position your face in the circle, then move your head slowly in a circle. You have to do two scans. Just like that, Face ID is set up. Now just lift up your phone or press on the side button to activate Face ID. You'll see the padlock unlocks and then you can swipe up. If your display is on, you can just swipe up and it should unlock almost instantly also. I'm still curious if Face ID is fast and reliable enough to replace Touch ID, but give me a week with a phone to give you the answer. The True Depth system enables another cool feature, an emoji. From the messaging app, just look for the an emoji app. You can select all sorts of characters. Monkey, robot, cat, dog, alien, fox, poop, pig, panda, rabbit, chicken, and unicorn. An emojis will mimic the expression on your face. Because the system measures depth, you don't need a second selfie camera for that blurred background effect when taking selfies. And because of that, you can take selfies with the new portrait lighting system. Here are some samples taken using the selfie camera. Speaking of cameras, the iPhone X has two 12 megapixel cameras, both with optical image stabilization built in. We'll leave the full photo discussion for our review, but here are a few sample photos we shot around Singapore. And that was our iPhone 10 unboxing and hands-on. Now that we have the phone, we are going to be putting it through its paces and we'll be putting up a full review. Do let us know what you'd like us to kind of investigate by leaving us a message in the comments section below. As always, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, like our Facebook page, follow Gadget Match on social media, and make gadgetmatch.com your daily habit. Until the next video, I'm Michael Josh. Thanks for dropping by.